Got a little something different for you today. This is a two terabyte external hard drive. This is actually my fiance's hard drive. Um, she had some wire problems with it. And then recently, um, due to a poor design, this, this wire that attaches, I believe it's actually called the Thunderbolt wire, it's an, uh, unable to be removed from the hard drive itself. It all comes as one unit. And she dropped it a few times and if you could take a look here, you can see all the wires are pretty much um, ruined. They're all missing the insulation, they're touching each other. And it got to the point after one last fall that the hard drive wouldn't, you couldn't read anything off the hard drive anymore. So she took it to Best Buy, had the Geek Squad look at it. Um, basically something to do with it's set up like a raid format i don't i don't know anything about computer that kind of back end of stuff but you're unable to get the information off of it easily you basically have to send it out and uh the cost if they were able to just retrieve the data off of it i think was around 200 dollars. the cost of sending it out to get the information removed received by um uh, Western Digital. This is basically it's a Western Digital uh, My Passport Pro two terabyte hard drive. Um, the cost is I don't even know. It could be hundreds and hundreds of dollars for them to do what they have to do to get it off. Basically, what it comes down to is they don't sell this part on its own. They don't sell the wire. So really, unless you figure something out on your own, you're kind of screwed. I mean, you have to send it in. Or, yeah, that's that's really your only option. You either have a dead hard drive or you have to send it in. So, after taking a look at it, um, I realized that the only way we're going to be able to do this is to buy a whole new hard drive just to scavenge the parts that we need off of it. Because what it comes down to is they don't sell just this wire as a replacement part. So, let me just show you what we're working with here. You can see the wires, I peeled back the insulation, The uh, I guess this is some kind of uh, protective coating over top, but this wire is basically shot, and the wire all comes up through here, and you're never going to be able to re-solder all of those connections, it's just not happening. So on the board, you have this is actually um, a connection. You can disconnect this, so basically all you have to do is just use your fingernail and get it underneath this little metal tab right there and then just carefully unclip it from the board. Uh, this one's already taken apart but when I show you um, basically when she got it back from Best Buy they just kept it apart so I'll show you how to take apart the other one and then all you're gonna have to do is slip that out of there and you have your broken wire off and then we have our new same exact hard drive. Um, all you need is two, well you don't even actually need the Phillips screwdriver. Uh, they had taken off something else. I'm not sure where it goes. I'll figure it out once I get inside this one. All you need is a T8 bit. Okay, now that we got the four T8 Torx screws out. You can carefully remove this cover. Set that aside. And then actually you don't even necessarily need to remove the hard drive from the case. So we're going to do the same thing. Unclip that from the board. Get that loose and just, well, let's make it a little easier. Fish that back out the way it came. Set this aside. Take our replacement wire, 
send it back up and then you just want to get it and clip it in place and then putting this together actually they had removed this I guess it's something you have to take off when you're trying to do that data recovery but normally if you're doing this it's not gonna this isn't gonna be removed So now, just the opposite of taking it out, you're going to want to make sure that this is tucked behind there, this strain relief, which obviously doesn't work that great. There should be a more protection up the edge of the wire. Basically, she had just dropped it a few times and it would stay attached to the computer and pull back on this wire, pull back on this wire, pull back on this wire, and it eventually worked its way loose. So. Take the original cover, and that looks like it slips kind of right behind there. Flip it over, and put back in the four Torx bits or four Torx screws that we've taken out. And that's all there is to it. Now I'm just going to go test this out on the computer. Um, it's really poor planning on Western Digital's design or a big scam to get you to send it back to them and send money. Um, but they really should offer this as a replacement part because it seems like she's probably not the only one that this has happened to. So I'm just going to give this a try, make sure everything is working, and then it's going to be good to go. So now I'm at the computer and I'm just going to plug it in. There's little ports that are marked with a little lightning bolt specific to uh, Max, I guess. And I'm just going to plug it in and make sure it loads up. And there it is. Just showed up my passport. So it looks like everything's fixed with it and now she can get all of her information. Uh, besides the cost, I mean she had basically all of her her work stuff and templates for design stuff, uh, printing stuff. So she really needed to get this up and running so she can continue on with her business. That's it for now guys. Come back for more. Uh, if you like this repair video, be sure to subscribe and I'll try to do some more like it. Alright, thanks.